So we're off on a different adventure right now, and this one's gonna be a multi-part series. We just picked up this little beauty. Just brought it home a couple of minutes ago. 18 horse Evinrude. Runs, needs a little bit of a idle adjustment, I think. Uh, KJC, if you're out there, we'll be calling you on this. Needs a little bit of a tune-up. Um, two can and downriggers are worth like 150 bucks a piece. That's 300 bucks. Uh, Hummingbird 86 fish finder, a little bit more. So yeah, we're ready to do a makeover on this, and uh, we're going to document it. Because why not? 24 volt Minn Kota autopilot. That's worth a few bucks. I think between this and the downriggers, we pretty much covered the cost of the boat. We've got 700 bucks into this thing. We're going to document how much we put into it and uh, what we end up with. We've got about a month to get this thing made over before we uh, go on vacation. And we're going to take this thing with us. So, we'll get to it. So we got everything gutted, filled it up with water, and we got one small leak right here on a seam, right there. And we're gonna get some uh, paint in truck bed liner, I think, and paint the inside to help seal that up. Other than that, we're looking really good. So we got everything washed out, cleaned up, put back inside. We went and got the Rust-Oleum truck bed coating. I did a little research on it, so this is the stuff to use. I've only got a little seep right around one of these seams. So I'm just going to paint this whole lower half with it, lay it on pretty thick just to resolve that. So we got that and two sheets of plywood to uh, redo these decks in here and some spray paint to kind of color in here once we get that black stuff painted um we're into it for about another hundred dollars so we're into this whole thing for 800 bucks right now so we're still looking really good so end of the first day of working on it we Got all the crap gutted out. Found that little tiny leak. Took the, got some truck bed liner. Sealed all the seams all the way around the bottom. I got two coats on there. I'll put another couple coats on tomorrow. Got the old crap rotten transom out. I actually got this, this two by eight to put in there because that's what the size it looked like was two by eight. But unfortunately this, will not allow the two by eight to slide in. And this can't really, there's not much play in this. They had pieces of, of plywood, a couple layers of it in here for the transom. And that was original. So we're just gonna have to end up going back in with the same stuff and then uh, cut another another piece for right here. Put back it and we put the motor in. So that's pretty much it. First day, got a lot accomplished. And uh, hopefully we'll get some more done uh, tomorrow afternoon. Hopefully this will be a not super long series. Maybe I'm hoping five, six videos at best. Uh, start to finish, but we'll see how it goes. But appreciate you watching. Uh, appreciate you subscribing. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you.